Hey guys, Will Fleming for Force Fitness and Performance here in Bloomington, Indiana. I wanted to come to you today, um, quick video just on why we would pull from the blocks, okay? So um, we pull from the blocks with, with our athletes all, all the time. Um, and so we do our cleans or our snatches from the blocks. And the main reason we're gonna do that is we wanna recreate specific positions during the lifts that uh, can give athletes some trouble, but also reduce the range of motion uh, at certain points in the training period so that athletes have a little less effort in the lift, right? So pulling from the floor on a clean, uh, sometimes can be pretty challenging. So, you know, bringing it up to below the knee or above the knee is gonna allow them to practice a position, um, gonna practice from a dead stop and we can get in a perfect start position. That's one of the big things that I would emphasize when we're lifting from the blocks is that we wanna have a perfect start position. So there's a little bit of misunderstanding. So I wanna show you guys how to get in a perfect position. So, and so the frame of reference we wanna start with is our position from the floor, okay? So when we start from the floor, we may start really low or we may start kinda of high, but when the athlete first leaves the ground, they have a back position, right? It's something like this, right? So we have this specific back position and that back position has to maintain. The back angle is the back angle from the floor till the bar passes the knee, right? So if I'm here, I'm here, almost the exact same back position, but my shins are out of the way. I have vertical shins and flat feet. So here's my start position. Here's my back position when I get up above the knee. And so that's gonna be our reference for the entire time when we lift with blocks. So here in a second, you'll see me come back, we'll have some blocks. We'll be able to recreate those start positions. Okay, so now that we have blocks set up, these are blocks below the knee, um, about mid shin. Remember we had that back angle is the back angle. And if you guys want some more explanation on that, there's a great blog post by a guy named Yasha Khan on his website about the back angle. Check it out. I'll post a link in this post for you, but the back angle stays the same, okay? but the start position in, with blocks should mimic the position of the bar as we've pulled it off the ground. So if we know that a good pull starts to come in just slightly, right? The bar isn't gonna be out over our toes when we start on the blocks because now the shins are moving to vertical or forward, right? We're gonna ha have to have pulled the bar back somewhat and maintain the back angle. So here's my start position when I'm on a low block, okay? So we're trying to mimic the bar path so that the bar is sweeped in or it's swept in and our back stays the same angle because all we're looking for until we get above the knee is the same back angle and shins and knees vacating the space, okay? So we're here, we still pull back, maintain the back angle. And that's our clean, okay? So we'll come back and we'll go to a little higher block. We'll check out what that looks like as well. All right, so we're back now with a, uh, another higher block, right? So now we're gonna be right at the knee level or slightly below it. And so again, if we're tracing the pattern, the bar should have moved back a little bit. So it's almost over the base of my foot now, like foot and ankle. And my shins are gonna be nearly vertical because the bar's at, at my knee, but my back angle's the same as always, right? So it's locked in here. Now it's just past the knee and straight up. So what we wanna do when we're training off blocks is start the start position always has the same back angle until we pass the knee and the shins are moving towards vertical and the bar is moving back if we follow that we're going to actually get something down of blocks we don't want to be one of those uh we don't want to create athletes who have these massive prs off blocks because they get in unrealistic positions where they're here and they can just yank back on the bar okay we want to be over the bar maintain the back angle throughout the entire lift push through flat feet and finish and if you guys ever have any questions about what positions your athletes should be hitting at specific times, you can always check out uh, willfleming.com weightlifting poster with handy dandy references to each and every position we want to hit along the way from the floor all the way to the hip.